Entrepreneur Sidney Torres and the French Quarter Management District settled their differences and developed a new security plan. It includes a new app, new cars, and the promise of faster police response. Rob Masson checked out one of the first calls to come in. It was a very public spat. Thanks, guys. Well, Sydney, I appreciate if you would stay. I have an appointment. You've accused me in the press. You've lied to me, Bob. Sydney Torres vented his anger four months ago over changes made in a French Quarter security system he helped pioneer. Now it's over. Not anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> Torres and Task Force member Bob Sims have teamed up to help form a new French Quarter security plan that includes an upgraded FQ Task Force app designed to speed police response times. We've learned how to work together and to put all the disagreements we have into the app. So that you can be part of the task force. You can download the app. You can be helpers make the quarter safer. The new app automatically geolocates anyone who calls up the app to type in a crime. And today, someone did. People sat outside their store and loitering, and, uh, and they asked them to move. 715 Royal. The call for help shows up in the app in real time, where it's seen by an officer with a geolocation of the crime. So this is some of the things we've learned in St. Louis and other areas that we're using the app, and we've been able to take this and bring it back here and give it to the city of New Orleans as free as an upgrade. After the complaint was logged, we went to the Royal Street shop where the incident occurred. And we've asked them to move from our doorway, but they don't. Um, you know, they weren't harming us or anything, but it is a distraction. Within 10 minutes, an officer responded. Yes, it was, and the response was really quick. Uh, I'm very happy about it. Officer was very nice. Many of those officers will use new smart cars, also purchased by Torres. The new vehicles are completely street legal and are expected to last a long time, unlike the old Polarises, which have basically outlived their usefulness and are now being phased out. We have three of those that will be out on the streets. The first one will start today. All calls will be monitored in what's being called a war room to be set up in 30 days. The war room allows for us to have that person sitting there with the big monitors tracking all the devices minute by minute basis. If the new app succeeds, it could go citywide and Torres, the entrepreneur, is already talking to other cities about setting up similar apps. From the French Quarter, Rob Masson, Fox 8 News. Well, thousands of people have already downloaded the French Quarter Security Task Force app. While Torres has paid the initial expense, French Quarter restaurant and hotel taxes will help pay for other costs down the road.